God bless you, my brother. Can I meet you? Your name, your name, please. My name is Imo Joseph Anya. Imo Joseph. Anya. Anya. I believe you're a Christian, my brother. I am. Which church you attend, if, if you don't mind? Okay. I attend House of Grace Church. Okay. God bless you. I want to know your view concerning politics. Is it good for um, uh, a pastor or a Christian to join politics in this country or to be part of making leaders in this country? Well, it's not just good for Christians to join politics. Mm -hmm. It's necessary. It's compulsory. Wow. For it's Christians. compulsory. Okay. Um, we are the light of the world and we are the salt of the nation. You don't keep salt in a salt shake. It doesn't season anything in, inside the salt shake. It has to be inside the food or whatever you want it to season. So the best way to season is to get into that. We can't be complaining of bad leadership if we don't get into it. There's just no way we can effect the necessary change until we get into that. So you're saying a Christian and a pastor is uh, supposed to join politics. That's what you're saying in totality. It's not just what I'm saying. What I'm saying is a Christian and a pastor must join politics. Must join politics. It's not necessary if we really want to effect the change that we desire, that the change we have. You know, we are change, if, you know, we carry change that we need to effect. If that has to be done, we must be in the field. Hmm. That's There's a man we interviewed and he said politics is things of the world. Well, he is probably lacking understanding because the way we can do things differently is to be in the mold. Mm. So your totality saying a Christian and a pastor should be part of politics? Must be part of politics. Must be part of politics. Actively or inactively, directly or indirectly, must be part of politics. Must be part of politics. Remind me your name again. Imo Josephania. Imo Joseph, God bless you, my brother. You. Good having you.